Howdy y'all, welcome back to Iguana Gaming. I'm the Iguana, and today guys, we are playing some more Ark Survival Evolved Mobile Edition. Today, we are back on the Lone Ranger series, guys, and uh, we have here a baby horse just about to be born, guys. Uh, this particular horse is going to be the product of Flicka and Ringo here, two of the higher level horses I have tamed. I am so excited to actually get um, a decent horse on this series. Uh, it's been way too long, and honestly, it's uh, it's a little frustrating trying to run around on a level 70 on a hard difficulty game, for sure. All right, now I also have here um, a couple of dodos, and I have been breeding them as well, guys. So we do have a dodo egg that I want to hatch up uh, on top of that. There we go. We're gonna go ahead and let that incubate for a moment, um, and we should be all good there. I think the horse will be born first, so we're gonna worry about that first. And let's go ahead and grab some berries off of our trusty pony here. There we go. Who still doesn't have a name, by the way, guys. I really should name this horse. I've been running around on it for way too long. All right, Flicka. Let's go ahead and wait for this baby horse to pop out. We got about two minutes left. Now, also guys, I do have a pack mule here. I did go ahead and uh, get the pack mule from the original campsite in the series up here. So we're starting to fill out the barn a little bit. I think I'm gonna start bringing over some of the other creatures as well, and basically try to make this town my main base. So uh, that said, there's a lot of work left to do. I do think I need to get some more creatures in here so that it's a little bit rounded out in the saloon. Um, definitely going to make the saloon kind of my bedroom. I think I'm gonna choose one of these rooms as like my main place to, to sleep and stuff like that. Should be pretty good. Um, and there's still obviously a little bit of decorating and stuff that I wanna do in here, but a lot of that is going to take some amber, so I have been trying to watch more ads for that. And uh, I think we're going to start actually trying to collect Amber a little bit more seriously on here so that we can do some of the more decorative stuff on the game, which is uh, pretty important in my mind for this series. All right, come on, Flicka. Give me the baby pony. <laughs> okay, so I also wanted to name this... Uh... <laughs> I wanted to name this Gigantopithecus here our little bandit, so I'm going to go ahead and name him, guys. Um, I want to come up with some really western-sounding names for these guys, so this guy is going to be McDoon. There we go. Perfect. All right, so that is actually, <laughs> that's actually a name I came up with from a, a play that I watched once that was kind of western-themed, so I'm all about trying to put in more western themes. So if you guys have western themed names that you want to really bring into the series for people, uh, do let me know because I am going to be taming some Gigantopithecus here in the near future, probably in the next episode so that we can get, um, get a few more people in this town basically and really start to build it up and make it look proper and populated rather than just like a ghost town. All right. I really hope that this baby comes out with the good stats. So essentially all of the good stats are basically from Ringo except for the health, uh, which is from Flicka. So kind of hoping we get the good health, uh, Stam, etc. Um, all of those good stats. I really do want like a fully stacked up horse so that we can get some really good stuff going on here. Hi, you. All right, it's a 238. It did get the good health. Uh, it looks like it got the low melee, but otherwise it looks pretty good. It's not mutated, is it? No. Okay. I didn't think so, but just had to check. Can I close this? Oh my goodness. Ugh. There we go. That took way too long to close. Okay. <laughs> my recording button is in the top right-hand corner, so it makes it hard to, like, click in and out, um, of screens sometimes. Okay, so we do have our Equus here. Looks a lot like it's daddy. Doesn't have all of the perfect stats. Is it a male? Okay, it's a male. That's a little disappointing because this is the male. So let's go ahead and... Yeah, let's go ahead and imprint this one because it'll be good to have a nice new imprinted horse. But this isn't the horse I'm going to use for all of the breeding because that one does have better stats. 
and this one is a male and I do want to get a female with all of the better stuff so for now this will become our new like um, ride around horse it'll be the one that we take around the island and do caves on and stuff this one will just get to sit around the town for a little bit while we do all that all right let's go ahead and check on I didn't tell the horse to stop following me there we go um, let's go check on this dodo egg. It should be up in just a few minutes here. Or a few seconds, I guess, is the word. What are we gonna get? These chickens are doing great giving me all these eggs, my goodness. Alright. Beautiful. Look at the baby dodo. Oh, it's so perfect. Okay. So, let's go ahead and take a look at you. This guy's really small. Like, weirdly small. Okay, this one doesn't have the health I'm looking for. It does have the melee I'm looking for, but it doesn't have the health or the weight. Is it a female? It is a female. Okay, cool. So that actually works out great because I think that means we can retire this particular dodo. Yes, we can. So this dodo can now, or this chicken can actually go ahead and sit um, in the chicken house. And this is going to be the new one that we're breeding with. All right, let's go ahead and disable that. Stop there. Now, I do want to get some really good OP chickens, so that's going to be something super important. I want to look for mutations. Can I tap the ancestry, please? There we go. Oh, it's mutated. Ah, okay. I can do that. There we go. Um, okay, well, never mind. This is a mutated dodo. I didn't really expect that. I guess it is brown. I wasn't really expecting to get a mutated dodo right away. I'm not even sure what stat is mutated. Is it stamina? Hold on. 230, I believe. What was it? 630? Can I look at you? All right. 610 and 600. Yep. It's stamina. We have a stamina mutation on our baby chicken here. Um... Not sure how useful that's going to be at this stage since it's super tiny, and I guess that means we actually can't breed with this one right away, because it does have a mutation which would mess up later mutations, but that's all right. Look at how tiny this thing is. Oh my goodness. Uh, where's my crouch? There we go. It's teeny. I think this is going to be a really small chicken, guys. All right. Let's go check on the baby horse and make sure it didn't, like, get itself stuck somewhere there we go hi you all right it's still growing up just fine okay cool all right so there we go guys we got a couple of baby uh critters going so if you do have name suggestions for either this guy or our mutated dodo please do leave those suggestions in the comments down below and don't forget guys we are going to be taming a whole bunch of Gigantopithecus soon uh, to kind of fill this area out. We need a sheriff. Um, probably going to have at least one other prisoner here. And definitely need a barkeep and a few customers as well in the saloon. So guys, yeah, please do give me name suggestions for Gigantopithecus because I want to start collecting now since I plan to have um, probably up to 10 Gigantopithecus in this town, which is going to be great because we need like 10 people in here. And guys, um, I am thinking about doing the next build in this series very soon. I think I'm going to try to put in like a farm somewhere over here. Um, so the end of the town is going to be kind of back there. We have a couple more buildings I'm planning on, a general store, a mansion, um, stuff like that. And then we do need an actual farm with uh, some crops out here. So I think I'm going to take this very end spot out here and create an actual farm so that we have uh, something we can go and get crops from and grow carrots for our many, many horses and such. So hopefully that works out all right. All right, let's go check on the baby here. Doing good so far. All right. Just want to make sure that I don't let these guys starve to death. It could be a bit of an issue. All right, you stay there and let's go check on our chicken one more time. I still can't believe we managed to get ourselves a mutated chicken. That is actually pretty awesome. Yeah, and he's doing all right as well. All right. How long till we can breed you again? Cool. A couple hours. Sweet. Well, guys, um, 
Yeah, I actually think that's all there is to it. I just wanted to hatch these babies up um, on cam so that you guys could get a really good idea of what I'm going to be trying to do um, over the course of the next like few weeks. I'm going to try to get some really good horses and things. Uh, yeah, and then next time, guys, I think we're going to go out and get some people in the town. So, guys, I do think that's going to do it for today's episode. So if you did find yourself enjoying this one at any point, please do remember to hit that like button because it seriously helps me out. And if you want to see more content like this, you can, of course, subscribe. I will catch you all in the next one. Signing off, this is the Iguana.